Want to learn the easiest way to create your own word search in Canva in seconds? Then keep on watching. Hey y'all, Victoria Sheree here with Pretty Party and Crafty, and we're going to jump right into how you can create a word search within Canva for your party printables and your placemats and your activity sheets. So the first thing, make sure you go ahead and have Canva open and you have your document open. And we're going to use an app to do this. So on the left side panel, you're going to click on apps. And you're going to look for an app called Activities Maker. Okay, and it's going to be the very first one that pops up. Okay, so with this, you can do different things. You can do a word search, a crossword, or a maze. For this tutorial, we are doing a word search. Where it says word list presets, if you click that, it gives you options. So you can do a custom word list. That's what we'll be doing today. You can do wild animals, farm animals, countries, foods, colors, and hobbies. But for today's tutorial, we're doing a custom word list because this word search is going to be for a circus party. And I want to make sure that the words match for a circus themed party. So to add your words, all you have to do is click here where it says word list and make sure you put a comma between each word. So I'm going to do about eight words. So it gives you the max number of words. It says 12. So I'm just going to bring that down to 10, even though I have eight. Number of rows. The more rows that you have, the smaller the letters will be. So I want to use the minimum number of rows possible. So I'm just going to bring that down to eight. Same thing with the number of columns. The higher these two numbers are, the more difficult it's going to be or the more letters will be shown. Next, you have an option. You can either show the grid lines or not show the grid lines. I'm going to keep the grid lines on because I want each letter separated. Next, where it says across or up and down and diagonal, that's basically where you can select or change the level of difficulty and it's how the answers will appear. So do you want them to go backwards, up and down? It's up to you. For me, I'm selecting top to bottom and left to right and then for diagonal I'm going to choose the first one which is top left to bottom right and bottom left to top right and then hit generate and when it generates it gives you two so not only does it give you the answer key it gives you the blank one as well and I'm also going to do it one more time just so you could see what it looks like if we take off the grid lines and if we bring up the number of rows and columns Okay, I'm going to hit generate. All right, so hopefully you can see the difference. As you increase the number of rows and columns, the letters are getting smaller. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. I'm also going to delete the answer key. So you can add this to whatever you want. So if you're creating a activity sheet, a worksheet, a placemat, you can add it to it. So what I'm going to do is just copy this because I do have an activity sheet that I was working on and I'm gonna hit control V to paste it. And I'm gonna just put it right over here on the right side. I'm gonna reduce the size on that. And there we have it. So we have our word search for an activity sheet. So don't forget when you do your word search, make sure that you add the words that they have to find. So hopefully you learned something new. If you did, let me know in the comments. Be sure to like and follow for more. Later, y'all.